Cause you are words are the food to me Your breath is my wine You are my everything Darling, would you stay a bigger time with me I'll be you around you To be my Julia Cause you are my baby boo you my baby boo, you my baby boo Oh, I, I beat you Raja Taluka, Naka, a Taluka You Raja Taluka, Ka, a Taluka, a Talu, a Talu, a Talu, a Talu, a Talu, a Talu, a Hello from wherever you are watching us from. It's yet another beautiful episode again. I cannot tell the, uh, the, the right number of the episode that we are in, but of course it's a new episode. My name is Nathan Yagu. We left home to change home. And today it's uh, another big vibe again with another big artist here. Of course, upcoming talent, guys who are actually coming into the industry, young blood, and of course uh, trying to bring you guys the biggest vibe ever. Of course, I'm not alone here. I'm, I'm together with my colleague here. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much again and again and again and again. We are very delighted to be here, and uh, tonight, of course, we've got a big guy, Jitter Boy. And uh, you, you cannot really uh, rate him to any other artist in Teso. When it comes to this, uh, officially, I can just guarantee you that uh, this is one of the best Teso we have, Jitter Man, we have in Teso. And as promised you, you're watching all these videos. We're doing episode after, pack after, pack after. But this one is the different one. This one's unique. Yeah. And uh, we cannot really match it with anyone. This one's filtered. This, is filtered. this one's filtered. filtered. That one's unfiltered. unfiltered. <laughs> exactly. We know about it. So welcome to the show, uh, Priestley. Yo, thank you very much. Atakeri. Yoga kereli pupete. Idolui tete. My name is Princely. I'm very happy to be live uh, with uh, my brothers here. Really want to say thanks for giving me this chance. Yala Mangone, Alakara. Yala Mangone, Princely. We are so delighted to have you on this show. This is one of the biggest shows, by the way, in Teso. Uh, if you are to be in this show, you must be also be one of the guys who are making headlines in Teso music industry. Wow. Uh, thank you very much. As I said, I really thank God for this day because, mm. of course, being in front of uh, this camera with uh, the biggest Tesla show, it, it's a blessing to me. Like, being here is a blessing. So, for giving me this great opportunity. Before we go far, give us an intro proving that you're one of the best Tesla artists. We have intro. Check it out. My Quantu. Yo, uh, the song that I'm going to be rolling in is titled Baby Boo. Baby Boo. I know most of you guys know this song. You can check it out on my different platforms. Really songs I vibe, but they give you the love, they make you single, they make you be like, where's my ex? Where's my lover? So they make In fact, even when you broke up with your ex, and again, they remember, Sure. Sure. So, um, I believe I can give you guys baby boot, then we shall have a kitchen. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, let's check the mic. We're doing this. Don't try this at home. Yeah. You're the finest. You're the loveliest, you're the tenderest, the most beautiful person I've ever known. Because of you, I can't feel myself slowly and surely becoming the me. I want to be only, forget the rest, darling. Because you are words, are the food to me. Your breath is my wine, you are my everything. Darling, would you stay a bigger time with me? I'll be you around you. You be my Juliet, cause you're my baby boo. You're my baby boo. You're my baby boo, yeah. I be to ride your taluka. Naka, kataluka. You ride your taluka. You ride your, you ride your baby. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, that was a remix. Let's okay. go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. This is sweet. 
Ete young o jack on ye, a pocket of donny, I keep it. A bit of rusty dung at all. Oh, my baby, I saw the quenny down a car. Yalla massy to knock it. Papa deke a lama, medium nor on no kid. Okay, joy, okay, joy, it's where I got paraning. I mean, I no kid, joy, no kid, joy, no kid, joy, it's where I got paraning. I beg me, I'm not a no key joy, okay joy, okay joy, eat to where I am for a digging. Thank you very much. It's how it is. Of course, we told you about this. You're watching this uh, from uh, Teso Vibes, DBT Live. Of course, uh, Teso TV, Econ TV. We are so delighted to have uh, Prince in the studio. Uh, we are currently at Kejo Point Hotel. In case you're looking for the best accommodation, best food, and of course uh, drinks, and of course the other services here at uh, IGP in Soroti, this is where we are hosted today. So we're excited to actually have this artist. Let's yeah. drop in the first question, uh, Princely. Who is Princely? For the very first time, very many people are wondering, uh, maybe Okawang in Abe. These songs are rocking. Uh, these songs are doing well. Even might be your primary teacher. Maybe one day, one day, one time back, they taught you. But uh, Prince Lee, who is Prince Lee? Uh, sure, uh, Prince Lee is an artist. Mm. But then my original name is Ochanya Samuel Otim. I am from Soroti, born in Soroti, right from Madera, Majengo B cell. Yeah, so I am the son of the soil. Yeah, yeah so that's me basically. Okay, uh, let's talk about your career in the music. You started the music, but of course, uh, just recently you're blowing, every radio is playing the song, you're performing, and uh, it's making people crazy, especially the ladies and of course the single men. Everyone is really, really, really so crazy. When did you start music? How did this uh, career actually come about? How was the journey? Actually, uh, music to me is like food. It's like a remedy. It's like a therapy to me. So I started doing music when I was a very young child i started singing arangiko kennedy yeah and i i have a belief i started singing akoikato toka so i really believe that music to me is my life without music ha, i don't think things are really going to be easy for me so i started singing when i was a young kid uh, by then i was in sorority parents that's how and then my father discovered uh, the kind of talent I had and he came in to support me and then I started recording the music when I was uh, 18 yes yes is when I started doing now uh, my real recording and something of that kind you were in which class which class were you in uh, I started singing when I was in baby by the way I used to be this sharp kid you're the one always at the front eh? I remember I was the class monitor head boy you understand? Everything. Everything I was there. So I was that sharp kid just so. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's another thing that really exposed me. Me being free with people and not being a shy boy I, uh, exposed me. And then of course, uh, my school always hosted uh, like school uh, MDD sessions at school. So we would compete within ourselves. Trust me, when s children see me in front they know that class is taking it was a must because they would always give us gifts so the boy is there. yeah the sharp boy is there and he's got the voice he's got the vocal so it was just a blessing to me and i believe i'm a blessing to this land of teso and i believe we're going to put teso to the world sure i want to really ask you one simple question like a question that really everyone thought like what really influenced you to go in for R&B music style. Um, uh, first of all, what influenced me to do R&B was uh, my role model, who happens to be the late Mose Radio. I started listening to that man when I was a very young child. Yeah, so I loved his art. I loved his songs. So remember, I used to do R&B. Yeah. yeah, he had his R&B touch, and then sometimes he does the Zook touch. You get so. That inspired me and then I started following up to other artists, bigger artists outside the country as well. You get. So I grew up in that R&B kind of thing. So, and now R&B is just me. When you take me to R&B, we are just fine to okay. go. Do you feel 
any kind of competition in terms of R&B in Tesla music in fraternity? Uh, not really. I, I don't see anyone really competing with me. Okay, yeah, there might be other guys, but I just believe I have my difference. I have my touch, my uniqueness. You know, you can't be me and I can't be you. Yeah, so I believe I'm in my own league. Yeah, and they're also in their own league. So, but then, of course, you know, Teso is really pretty talented. Yeah. So I respect everybody who is talented out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because everybody has his own touch. I don't want to say there's someone competing with me, I'm competing with someone. No, there, is, there are no boundaries. There is no one I'm competing with. I'm just competing with myself. Like, I want to be somewhere. So it is just myself pushing. So currently, how many songs do you have? I have four songs. Yeah, for songs. Mm -hmm. uh, would you name them? I have Life, mm -hmm. I have Baby Boo, I have Ekichoi, and Ijobon. Ijobon is on my piano. Ijobon is on my piano. Yeah. Yeah, I have. I had a fusion of R&B in it, and I'm a piano. Yeah. So currently, I have about four songs. You have the R&B and um, and the piano. Which of the two have, uh, have actually sold you of R&B and the piano? Which one? Actually, uh, you know, my Ama Piano song is the latest, yes, yeah. yes. but then uh, one of the songs that has really blowed me up is Ekichoi. Yeah, guys love that song, it's R&B, purely art, so it's just so cool. And then Ijobon is also catching the fire every day, yeah, sure. I want us to talk something, uh, to me I feel this is one of the biggest challenges people have face out, like artists face out. Uh, what are some of the challenges as you princely you're facing in industry because most of your songs you do in english and uh you only have one song that is a test that you've done with an artist which is okichoi a bit but also you mixed in chipped in some english right and uh, how do you find uh, what challenge are you facing like comes of distributing your music the conception of your music out there yeah um one of the challenges I'm facing, first of all, you know, mm. funds. Yes, it's really not easy to raise funds, mm. but then God is helping. Yeah. And then, of course, there's always sometimes a little challenges when it comes to production, you know, basically funds and yeah, but then also people getting used to the kind of art I do, but I'm happy that mm. they are catching up with that what I'm trying to bring in because this is a different test altogether. It's very different, totally different. So when they get this, sometimes